I'm sure Wales fans are absolutely buzzing at the moment after a brilliant international break, but uh, Swansea, it's not looking too good. It's not looking good, Bev. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at what has happened to Swansea City. First off, and probably the most significant thing to take from this summer is Andy Coleman being appointed as the new chairman. On the 5th of May 2023, Coleman was announced as the new chairman and as a result moved him and his family to Swansea in order to make sure he is hands-on with the club's development. Now for me, I think this was a massive step in the right direction. After a drop off from playoff competitors in 1920 and 20-21 seasons, the Welsh side have been nowhere near it. Coleman is a known businessman and with the model he seems to be attempting to integrate, with the acquisition of some very, very bright talents, I think he could eventually push Swansea to make the step back to battling for promotion. However, as much as this was a massive change for the club inside and out realistically, I think the real big debate at the moment is the changeover of manager from Russell Martin to Michael Duff. Now I think it is very clear that there is a bit of a divide in the fan base over Duff. Well, no, actually, majority wants him out of the club. Um, but either way, we're going to take a closer look at his tactics and how they compare to Russell Martins. Swansea City have been known for the past few years for their very nice, possession-based, attacking brand of football. I mean, they were the only team to average more passes and more possession per 90 than companies burning the championship last season. Russell Martin had a nailed-on philosophy during his time in Wales, which was to dominate games with lots of possession, playing the nice, intricate and tippy-tappy football that Swans fans love. But alongside this, they really love Martin's character and the way he properly formed a connection with the fan base. But this does then mean it would become a very, very hard task for practically anyone that would come after him. I suppose Duff coming in is almost like having a stepdad. He's doing brilliant things for you, but in reality, you still know he's getting off with your mum. Don't know why that's relevant. Anyways, Duff is an entirely different type of manager to that of Russell Martin. Duff seems far less bothered in forming a connection with the fans and far more asked about winning games, which is fair enough, really. Well, until you start downplaying your big derby game that's on the horizon. Now, if we look at Duff's playstyle at Swansea, it is still similar to Martin's, but also kind of different in its own special way. During his time at Barnsley, there was an element of that possession-based style of play, but with also something more direct. The Barnsley side were built upon hard hard work rate and brilliant pressing. As we see here when they are sat in somewhat of a 5-3-2 when defended and decide to overload their midfield areas. And as we see here as a result prevented Sheffield Wendy from playing their brand of football and cause a turnover in possession. Duff also liked to exploit the space in behind using a very free flow and attacking style which honestly worked wonders. A slip ball through here after a brilliant bit of attacking movement which then sees the striker be able to attack the ball in this wider area of the box. And then we move on to this phase here, a brilliant switch of play after a small overload on that right hand side to send another player through on goal. Honestly I think these two attacking movements massively show what Duff is about. They are controlling the game yet also transition very quickly from the passive style to being an instant threat due to the fact the movement across the front line is so fluid. But Things haven't really worked like this at Swansea. Albeit Duff usually does start slow, losing three of his five first games at Barnsley. Fans in Wales are getting slightly impatient, and I suppose rightly so. Duff seems completely incapable of ensuring that his team remains to the high standards throughout a full 90-minute game. And on top of not getting immediate results, the possession and passing stats are much lower than that of Martin, and as a result, see the team have much less of the ball, and then triggering fans to just get even more upset. It's obviously causing Swansea fans to then jump at the manager because they've gone from this very consistent attacking brand of football, which to be fair is probably more entertaining to watch than Duff, I suppose. But on top of that, they also aren't getting results. So it kind of all just piles up at the moment. But I do actually think this is this is pretty wrong. I think Duff Ball definitely has its potential to be better than Russell Martin's style of play at Swansea. After all, they were known for lots of possession and attractive football, yet never really achieving too much. So once this Swansea team have time to adjust to not just the slight shift in style, but also the departure of the likes of Joel Perot, they could offer something very good to the championship. But that is it for today's video. If any Swansea fans feel I've missed anything out, feel free to let me know in the comments. I know I didn't go in too much depth tactically, but hopefully I will be able to do in the future when Swansea are pushing for a playoff spot. I also want to say a massive shout out to Jay on Twitter for helping out massively with my Swansea research, giving me lots of inside information. So make sure you go check him out on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.